Before you spend a ton of money on LED off-road pod lights for your vehicle, you have to watch this video. I'm going to go in depth between the Baja Designs LP6 and the Dow Dynamics SS5. These are really expensive off-road pod lights and they're both really good. But which one is best and which one would I at Headlight Revolution would recommend for your vehicle? In this video, I'm gonna discuss color, pricing as of this video, warranty if they have a backlight, Lux, Claim Candela, and our measured Candela here in-house. A lot of these manufacturers already have their own Claim Candela, but just because we're Headlight Revolution, we wanna do it better by measuring our own. What is Candela exactly? It's the photometric intensity of the measured single solid angle. Essentially, it's the proper way to describe the intensity of these pod lights to compare to one another. Now the digital lux meter we're using is the Konica Minolta T10A. This is a really good digital lux meter. And if you wanna see exactly how we tested these to give you guys the most accurate measurements possible, check out the other video of how we test it. So I'm gonna start at price. First things first, this LP6 from Baja Designs is around $475. Now just keep in mind when you see price in this video, it's at the time of this video and prices change all the time and they vary from site to site. So I see around $475, maybe $490. The Baja LP6 is by far more expensive than the SS5. The LP6 only has one power level. So you really don't have to worry about which one I'm going to get. Am I gonna get the right one for my vehicle? The Dial Dynamics SS5, they do have a couple different power levels. They've got a sport version, which is less expensive, coming in at around $220 for a single pod light. And then they've got this one here, which looks exactly the same as the sport version, but this is the Pro. And this right here comes in at around $350 at the time of this video. So now you know price, you know power levels, and you know how we test one pod light to another. Now I wanna dive in a little bit to the LP6. We've had it around our studio for a very long time, and I wanna know if it's any better than these new pod lights we see here today. These come in at around $475, they have the backlight, which is really cool. Even on the Baja Designs website, we could not find the claim candela, but in our testing, we measured 276,000 candela. As you can see, you've got a real soft spot with lots of spillage. It's not a super tight beam pattern that I would like out of a spot off-road pod light. The Baja Designs does have an amber version and it looks like this, still at around $475, but they do have that backlight still. And in our testing here, we measured 229,300. Throughout this entire video, you'll notice that when we show you guys the yellow output, they are not quite as bright as they white. That is because oftentimes you'll lose quite a bit of brightness switching from a white lens to a yellow lens or converting to a yellow output. So next up, we got the Dow Dynamics SS5 Sport. They come in at around $220 as of the time of this video being recorded. It does have a selectable backlight, which is really cool, and a multiple different colors. All of the Dow Dynamics lineup has an eight-year warranty. The Claim Candela from Dow Dynamics was 406,100 out of the spot beam pattern, and we measured 400,100 Candela. All across the board, their Claim Candela matches our measure Candela pretty closely. They do have a yellow version. These pod lights come in at around $220. They do have a backlight with an eight year warranty as well. And their claim Candela was at 360,200. In this case, we measured 357,800. So it's pretty much spot on. At 10 meters, we got 3,578 lux. Now let's check out the Dow Dynamics SS5 Pro. This is their elite version or their better version. There is a backlight with multiple different colors to choose from and an eight year warranty. They have a claim Candela of 286,000, but in our testing, we measured 321,800. So in this case, Dow Dynamics was very conservative giving out their numbers of their spot beam pattern. Even though the Pro is more expensive, this isn't as bright as the sport version. However, this does have a massive spot beam pattern when you look at it outside and on the wall. Thankfully, the Dow Dynamics SS5 Pro also comes in yellow. These have a price of $350 with the backlight and their claim Candela was 227,000. We measured 264,200. So their number in this case was a little inflated, 
but that's still real close. If you want to see how the Baja designs and SS5 stack up to the competition when we did our massive shootout, these are the numbers, these are the results. So now you've seen both power levels of the Dow Dynamics with the spot beam pattern in yellow and white. And then with the LP6 as well, you saw the light output of just the spot beam pattern and they call their light output amber and white. A lot of people like to talk about yellow and amber and orange and all this stuff. Who cares? These guys call it as amber. These guys call this as yellow. I do want to discuss something real quick before I get to the combo or driving beam patterns and that is backlight. On the LP6, I noticed on their website that they do have an option that you can purchase in amber, red, green, or blue color. So you have four different colors to choose from. However, if you do get the red backlight, the blue backlight, or the green backlight, the beam pattern is only available in that driving or combo beam. Now, if you get the amber, sure, you can have the spot beam pattern like we had just shown you guys. The dial dynamics is a little bit different. There's actually eight different colors you can choose from. These two right here are an older version that I ordered quite a while ago before they had those options. And actually, you don't have to buy them individually. You can just turn them off and back on, use the switcher, and then eventually you can get to the color that you want. And I think that's pretty cool, but at the same time, there is a legality issue too. Before mounting these on your vehicle, say on your roof rack or something, just check your state's laws because there are a lot of states, if not most states, say that it is illegal to have a backlight on anything above your headlights. So keep that in mind. And I especially would recommend not running around with like a red or a blue backlight on your vehicle. Your chances of getting pulled over are substantial. Okay, so we've talked about spot beam pattern, we've talked about the backlight. This one has more options. This one is limited when it comes to the backlight. What about the driving or combo beam pattern? Let's start with the Baja Designs. All right, something I'm real interested in, the Baja Designs LP6 Pro with the combo slash driving beam pattern. We measured the Candela at 203,100. Looking at the beam pattern, you can see a slightly vertical Titan center flood, same circular shape with a soft hotspot. This is what the LP6 Pro from Baja Designs looks like in the combo beam pattern. Still around $475. They do have a backlight, whether it was the white or the yellow. And we measured 168,700. The beam pattern is essentially the exact same as the white version. So here is the Dow Dynamics SS5 Sport, their entry level in the combo beam pattern. These come in at around $220. With the backlight, still that eight year warranty. And they have a claim candela of 81,600, very close to our 84,200 measure candela. What's weird is this is not as bright as the pro version, but it's very close. So their pro and sport, as far as intensity goes, is a little bit all over the place, if you ask me. This is what their SS5 Sport in yellow looks like with the combo beam pattern. This is the combo lens put on the same chip as you saw for the spot beam. These come in at around $220. They do have that backlight, eight year warranty. They have a claim candela of 71,200 and our measured was 73,300. That just goes to show you that our measurement in candela is very accurate for all of these across the board. Now here is the Dow Dynamics SS5 Pro, their top of the line pod light in the combo beam pattern. These come in at around $350. They have the backlight eight year warranty with a claim candela of 75,700. We measured 85,000, so in our measurements, we actually measured a substantial amount more than their claim candela. As you can see, there's a soft hotspot in the center with tons of additional ambient light. This is what it looks like in yellow, still the same pricing, same backlight, eight year warranty. They have a claim candela of 75,700. In our testing, we measured 64,800 candela. Again, pay attention to the color temperature, all yellow pod lights produce a unique color. You may like one more than the other. Now, a while ago, we made a video covering a whole bunch of the best off-road pod lights, and this is how the Baja Designs and the SS5 stack up to the competition. Now, remember, there is a lot more to it than just sheer brightness, so we'll talk about that later on. The reason that we've only done the spot beam pattern and the combo beam pattern is because those are the only two beam patterns that the LP6 have. They don't have a bunch of other beam patterns like the Dow Dynamics SS5. So if you guys are using these to put on your vehicle 
and you want something that gives you essentially a tighter beam pattern, either one of these are gonna be good because they have a spot and combo, but if you were specifically looking for something with a little bit more ambient light or SAE compliance, the Dial Dynamics is by far the winner when it comes to that. The Dial Dynamics have a driving beam pattern, a combo beam pattern, a spot beam pattern, and a flood beam pattern. It's pretty interesting that Dial Dynamics has created a flood lens for their SS5, which is very helpful if you're gonna be at nighttime, maybe setting up a tent and you're going to mount this sideways something you just can't do with the LP6. But that's not what Baja had designed this product for anyways. They have a spot beam, they have a combo beam, and if you look at any marketing they have ever, this is so that you can slap it on your vehicle and go as fast as you can in the desert or down a long straight. However, in the real world, I just wanna be real for a second. Does that make sense? If you have an off-road vehicle with lighting that was designed for you to go 200 miles an hour? In my opinion, not so much. And so what I like to see when I actually put it on my vehicle is I wanna see a little bit more ambient light. I want to see that down the range punch of light, but I also like some ambient light. Cause let's be honest, what is the point of just illuminating one little spot if you're going in the woods? If your vehicle is say an overlanding vehicle or your build is an overlanding build, I highly suggest something that's going to have more ambient light. It might be a little bit biased, but I don't really see a point in spot beam patterns, especially when my vehicle, like say my Bronco, can't even go 200 miles an hour, let alone maybe 100 safely. In the real world, when you have your spot beam pattern, this is what both of them look like. On the top of the screen, you can see the LP6. This is the spot beam pattern, but as you can see, it's pretty full, where when you're looking at the dial dynamics, it looks like this. Now, a lot of you are gonna say, well, spot beam pattern is important because I run multiple pod lights and that spot beam pattern really does push the light where I need it, but I have additional supplemental light. And I totally hear you on that one, but let's say you only bought a pair of lights. If you're gonna buy the spot beam pattern and you're driving on the road or you're driving in the woods somewhere and you have the Dow Dynamics SS5 Sport, you'll notice that there's not quite a lot of usable light elsewhere. Now, yes, you're gonna have your headlights, you'll have your fog lights, but I want something with just a little bit more, to be honest. If I'm going to spend my hard-earned money on something and I'm not going to buy $4,000 worth of off-road lighting, I personally would recommend the LP6 over the Dial Dynamics SS5 Sport. So this is what happens when you compare the Pro version, the more expensive version. Now you can see you get a little bit more usable light output and you still have more candela than the Baja designs. So in my opinion, if you were going to buy the Dow Dynamics SS5, get the Pro because it's more usable. It makes more sense. Unless you're truly an off-road racer and you can go 150 miles an hour, I recommend getting the Pro, to be honest. If you remember, the measure candela of the Sport, the cheaper version, was actually higher than the Pro, but in the real world, when you're driving down this windy road here, I know which one I'd rather have. Now I wanna dive in a little bit deeper on the combo beam patterns. On the top, again, you're going to see the LP6. Remember, there's only one power level, but there's two power levels of the Dow Dynamic. This is, on the bottom of your screen, the Dow Dynamics SS5 Sport. Right off the bat, it's pretty obvious that the LP6 has much more usable light. And for you lighting nerds, the candela of the LP6 decimates the candela of the Dow Dynamics SS5 Sport. Now talking about the Sport version, it's actually less bright, but with the spot beam pattern, it was more bright than their Pro. So it's a little bit all over the board. However, in this case, the Sport beam pattern, it's less. But I mean, it's only got 84,000-ish candela. Compared to 203,000, I know which one I'd rather have. Just look at the light outputs. With the LP6, you can see that road goes all the way up and to the right. And this is the combo beam pattern. So I do want this ambient light. If I purchase a combo, I don't just want the light centralized. I want it to look like the LP6. By far, I'd recommend the LP6 over the SS5 in this case. But what about the Pro version? Well, as you can see here, it barely gained any candela but I do see the light being emitted more. I do see the ditches a little bit better. It's just not quite there, like the combo version of the LP6, that driving combo version. I personally like that look better. 
I know it's a little bit hard to see, but the color temperature of each one is a little bit different as well. I'm only making this video to help you guys be more informed when you're purchasing one of these off-road pod lights. There's a lot on our website. Both of these are really good and you really won't go wrong. However, I think this is very helpful in its actual buyer's advice. Which one would I rather have? Okay, if we're talking about the spot beam pattern, if you're a type of person that's actually going to put a spot beam pattern on your vehicle, I assume that means you're going to have a bunch of other pod lights and ambient light all the way around. Like I said, in my personal opinion, a spot beam pattern is totally not usable unless you're going super fast. If you are a person that wants a spot beam pattern between the LP6 and the Dial Dynamics, I personally would choose the spot beam pattern from the SS5 Pro. The Pro has a little bit more ambient light than their sport version, so it's a little bit more helpful of a usable light even though it is a spot beam pattern, and it is ultra bright compared to the LP6. We measured 321,800 candela versus the LP6 which had 276,000 candela. So in this case, SS5 wins in the spot beam pattern. But what if you wanted some more usable light and you got the driving slash combo beam pattern? It's pretty apparent and it's pretty obvious actually. I would much rather have the LP6. This has so much more candela than the measly 85,000 candela of the Dial Dynamics SS5 Pro, which did have a little bit more candela even than the sport version. So if you want something with usable light, like the LP6 driving combo beam pattern, 100% a good buy for you guys would be to purchase the LP6. Now, I know this gets a little bit complicated and we make a lot of these videos and all of the candela numbers and locks and stuff get a little bit convoluted, but it is my goal to make this as clean and organized for you guys as possible so you're informed when buying products. We don't want you to spend your money on a product that isn't going to work with what you do in the real world. So it is my goal to be as informative as possible. Be sure to go to headlightrevolution.com and type in your year, make, and model of the vehicle that you own. There you're going to see all the other products that we test that are actually good for your vehicle. Remember, we have a whole team out here that can answer your questions. Just type it in the comments below. If you have anything off-road related or lighting related, we're here to help.